Once again, it's time for Let's Talk Jocks with Jiminy Glick. And now, here's Jiminy. I am sitting with an absolute living legend. And I know this because he told me to say that. So if he said it, it must be true. The wonderful John McEnroe. Don't lie to your fans here and your viewers that I had told you to say that. You're... Can I say bad words here? Say it. Go ahead. You're bullsh**. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful! But you know what? We've set the levels, so just try to keep it down. I know that's your gimmick, and it works, and it's like, you know, an old stripper who, you know, has beads or something. You're not gonna get me going. And you just kept going up to those linesmen when you were playing racquetball or whatever sport you did. And you'd go up and say, <laughs> you're, you're full of... You're, you're an idiot. You've, you've got to be kidding. What, what's that phrase? You that? cannot be serious! And that was kind of, in the 80s, you look marvelous. It was like your catchphrase, wasn't it? You're right. damn right. You have these temper tantrums. Was this a publicist's idea or do you really have mental problems? It was really for, uh, <laughs> Is there a third option? No, I think that's enough, boy. <laughs> I think I'd go more with the second than the first. Then. Mental issues. Mental issues. Mental issues. I don't have a publicist. You went to Stanford University. That's correct. And you didn't graduate. You flunked out. Of I didn't flunk out. They would have kept me in even if I had flunked out. Because I could hit a stupid tennis ball over the net, all right? My kids tell me this too. You wouldn't have gone into Stanford if you didn't play tennis. They speak like gangsters, your kids? Did that sound like a gangster? You didn't go to Stanford <laughs> until you go. That sounded like we were doing a production of Guys and Dolls, uh, and Lorna Luft was late as, for her cue. I... <laughs> now, let's see. So we discussed your limited brightness. You won at Wimbledon. What was that like? Oh, We're playing at Wimbledon. That's in England. That's correct. It's a tremendous feeling. The tradition there is fantastic, yes. and sometimes even the Queen and King show up. The King and Queen showed up. I've you know, I knew Princess Diana, right? <laughs> See, you feel the same way I do. Did the Queen kill Diana? Answer me yes or no. Um, I refuse to answer on the grounds I may be incriminated. I'm referring to Queen Latifah. There's a rumor <laughs> that Queen Latifah killed Diana. She, that? I hadn't she heard. Hit her, she hit her with a, with a... Hit her with her ass? <laughs> <laughs> hit her with her ass. That's what I heard. Once. That's it. You got it. Ha 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 You're doing me now. <laughs> and you said you were limited in See your that? craft. I'm doing it. You can do it. You just shouldn't do it for lots of people. That's all. Well, point then that's the perfect show to do it oh, for. He's losing it. He's losing it. This boy's losing it. <laughs> oh, that's good. This has been fun. <laughs> <sighs> Get him an espresso. You know who I love is that Anna Kornikova. 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 Yeah, She's a. She says she's a virgin. If she's a virgin, I've never questioned a call in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! <laughs> Prince! Yes! Stop, whatever those expressions, that's wonderful! I'm going out on a limb there. But you know, she's with um, Inglesias. Oh, Enrique. Enrique, he's, he's Julio's Not son. Not Julio? No, no, Julio okay. is about 77 years of age now. <laughs> but Enrique is current, and he's, he's dating this girl, Anna Carnacan. Oh, man. Yes. I predict them to last another two months. How come, John McEnroe? Musicians and athletes. Oh, it never does last. Oh, that's does right. It? I'm married to a musician. And this is your book, which is a wonderful, wonderful book. Thank you. It's, that's what I wanted called, to mention. It's called John McEnroe. You McEnroe's. cannot be serious. Oh, that's wonderful. And look at you looking moody. You're looking moody. I look pretty all right, right? You look good. You do. Compared to you. You this fat more, turd! Oh no! More of, more of your rage! More of your anger! This has been fun, John. I want you to come back again. And next time you'll promise, right? Next time you'll promise that... Will you, like will you ask me some nice questions next time? Some better questions, maybe? You're telling me I didn't ask you nice questions. They were out. They were perfectly on the line. They, they weren't were, in. You to be kidding, Let me John kiss my ass. I don't want to kiss your ass unless there's money involved. Give me a break. Give me a break. You give me a break. You stop it. And you hear me out. You hear when I say and speak to you. you I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, you're out of here. How about you're out of here before you sat down? Thanks, man. Oh, man. Oh, suddenly we're in a beatnik movie. Oh. God, I wish... I wish Young Borg was in town. He is. Let's, let's phone and get him over. <laughs>